Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing the Illustrative Math Grade 8 Unit 1 Lesson Number 9. Okay, our first problem here says draw parallel lines AB and CD. So we can draw them wherever we want. So I'm going to call that A and that B. So if I connect those, I get a line. Now it wants parallel lines. So if I put C here and D here, C, D, I can say that those two lines are parallel. Pick any point E. Where do I want point E to be? I'm gonna put it right here. Doesn't really matter where you put it, the results you're gonna get are gonna be the same. Now, this says lines, not line segment. So how long are these? Well, they're infinite. They continue on forever in both directions. So now if I rotate E 90 degrees, or rotate AB 90 degrees around E, I'm going to get a line that looks about like this. And if I do CD 90 degrees around E, I'm going to get about this. Now, what do we notice? If I rotated that 90 degrees, what happened to our new lines? Are those still parallel? Well, they will still be parallel. AB is also now perpendicular to A prime, B prime, and C prime, D prime. So, parallel lines are still parallel. And because they were rotated 90 degrees, they are perpendicular to the original line. Okay. Use the diagram to find the measurement of each angle. So angle CBE is 50 degrees. That'll probably help us with these other ones. Now what do I notice? Well AD seems to be a straight line. In the measurement of a straight line, an angle that makes a straight line is 180 degrees, right? Well, if that's 180 and this is 50, this angle right here has to be 180 subtract 50. Well, what's 180 subtract 50? That's 130 degrees. So angle ABC is 130 degrees. How about this angle here? Angle EBD. EBD. Well, if this is 50 degrees, this thing right here has to also be 180. 
which means this part, angle EBD, has to be 180, subtract this 50 degrees, which we already know is 130. Angle ABE, ABE. Well, this whole thing is 360 degrees, right? Well, what's 130 plus 130 is 260 plus 50 is 310 degrees. What's left to get us to 360 degrees? Well, it's 50 degrees again. So this has to be. So one important thing to think about, anytime we have a situation like this, when we have two angles, or four angles made by two lines intersecting. We only have two different angles. We have two 50 degree angles that are across from each other and two 130 degree angles that are across from each other here. That's a relationship called vertical angles. Angle ABC is a vertical angle with angle EBD. They are both 130 degrees. Angle ABE is a vertical angle with angle CBD because they are both 50 degrees. They're on opposite sides of the intersection point here. Okay. Points P and Q are plotted on a line. Find a point R so that a 180 degree rotation with a center R sends P to Q and Q to P. Where would R have to be so that if we did a 180 degree rotation, P would go to Q and Q would go to P? That would have to be right about here. Is there more than one point R that works for point A? No. It needs to be the midpoint between P and Q. Because when we rotate point P 180 degrees, it's going to be the same distance from the center of rotation it was to begin with. So this will only work if our point R is the midpoint between P and Q. In the picture, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is an image of triangle ABC after a rotation. The center of rotation is point D. So this figure and this figure are just a rotation. From here to here was a rotation. What's the side length of side B prime, C prime? B prime, C prime. Well, if we know that this was four units, this also has to be four units. Because rotating a figure doesn't stretch it, it doesn't shrink it. It is a rigid transformation. Any measurements over here have to be the same over here. So that is four units. What's the measurement of angle B? Well, angle B prime is 52 degrees, and again, it's a rigid transformation, nothing changes. 52 degrees. Measure of angle C, well, angle C prime is 50 degrees, so angle C is 50 degrees. Okay, question five, the point negative 4, 1 is rotated 180 degrees using center 0, 0. What are the coordinates of the image? So we started out with negative 4, 1. We rotate 180 degrees around the origin. Let's just quickly sketch a graph. I could get a real graph here. But a quick sketch should work. Negative 4, 1 is negative 4, 1. It's negative 4, 1. If we rotate 180 degrees around the origin, 
we are going to have to go the same distance here. So which quadrant is this one in? Positive x, negative y. So we need a positive x value and a negative y value. That's not a positive x value. That's not a positive x value. Ooh, this one has a positive x value. We also need a negative y. That's not a negative y. It has to be this one. So negative 4, 1 became 4, negative 1. A 180 degree rotation around the origin. What happened to go from negative 4, 1 to 4, negative 1? All that really happened is we changed the sign of both of these values. Negative 4 became positive 4, 1 became negative 1. Okay, that was our last problem for this section. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.